The overall quality of autos made in the United States slipped for the first time in 16 years. A new J.D. Power vehicle dependability survey of owners of three-year-old cars and trucks found that engine and transmission problems, especially in smaller, more fuel-efficient four-cylinder cars, caused quality to fall from last year's record high levels. Bucking the trend, GM's luxury Cadillac brand rising 11 places this year to rank as the third most reliable nameplate behind Lexus and Mercedes-Benz. Well, Ty Ford is selling a lot more cars these days in China. The automaker and its Chinese partners sold nearly 95,000 vehicles in China in January. That's an increase of 53 percent from the same month a year ago and a 35 percent leap from December. An historic vote sue for U.S. auto workers today. Employees at the Volkswagen plant in Chattanooga are casting ballots on whether or not to join the United Auto Workers Union. If approved, it would be the first foreign-owned auto plant represented by the UAW in the U.S. in 27 years and the first ever in the South. Phil LeBeau has more. On a cloudy day in Chattanooga, Tennessee, workers at the Volkswagen plant are starting to clear up their future voting on whether or not to join the United Auto Workers Union, a move some workers believe will make their plant more competitive. We will have a opportunity to voice our concerns and the things that we hope to improve the company, and I think that will work better for us than the, than the current system. I want us to have a voice in, in the Global Works Council, and I want us to be able to bring you know, more products, more cars here to Chattanooga. VW's plant in Tennessee is a rare opportunity for the UAW to add members at a foreign brand plant in the southern U.S., something it's never done. Over the last 35 years, as foreign automakers like BMW, Toyota, and others started building cars in right-to-work states in the south, their workers have never moved to join the UAW, even though their pay and benefits would have likely increased. Meanwhile, as big three plants primarily in the north, shut down, UAW membership began to drop. After peaking at 1.5 million in 1979, it fell as low as 355,000 just a few years ago, before edging slightly higher in 2012. What's at stake here isn't simply a unionized plant, but a new way for U.S. firms to compete in the global economy. There are many fighting to keep the UAW out of VW Chattanooga. Senator Bob Corker says unionizing the plant would be a mistake. And anti-union groups think workers are being misled about life in the UAW. We're trying to get out there to make sure that employees, team members at Volkswagen have all the information that they need so they can make a reasoned, informed choice. Approximately 1,500 VW workers in Chattanooga are casting secret ballots through Friday evening. The National Labor Relations Board is overseeing the vote, and if approved, it will be the first UAW-organized plant in the Deep South. Phil LeBeau, Nightly Business Report, Chicago.